welcome to Italy and welcome to Rome for the 13th leg of the Longines Global Champions Tour and just three events remain and these guys are the ones that have got the advantage at the top of the overall leaderboard. So I better start with our, our tour leader at the moment, Edwina Tops Alexander. You've got a 25 point advantage at the moment. Who are you riding here in Rome? I've got um, Caratina de Giotto here. And how are things are going? You're fresh from uh, Rio, I guess. It's from one, one Olympic stadium to another. Yeah, no, it's good. I mean, my horses arrived really well the other day, and um, I've been here already a couple of days, just having a little bit of a nice, relaxing time. And um, yeah, it feels good. The weather's great. The, the ring looks amazing. The ground is good. So yeah, all, all good. And how would you sum up the season and, and putting it into context with you, you know you're now top of the leaderboard? It's really close and um, there's still a long way to go even though there's only three more shows left um, and I mean I won the first the first global in Miami and um, and then after that I was down a bit and a few placings here and there and I've come back up now but um, 25 points is not enough <laughs> if he doesn't come back in any second rounds <laughs> but um, so there's still there's still a long way to go but I'm, I'm happy you know with my performance I've got to this point with two horses. Um, I think Rolf's got my, mainly his points on, on one horse. Um, so and so yeah, my horses, you know, like I've always said, have been really consistent and, and I chose Tequila for the Olympics and I've chosen Caratina to finish off these two shows and then I'll decide which one's going to go to Doha. When you say Rolf's got most of his points on one horse, it's a, an understatement really because he's been an absolute star cell. He's back here. You guys won this event last year. How is, how is the old boy? He's good. He was uh, happy arriving here. Really fresh leaving home also, he wanted to go to shows again. He had a little break now after Falcon Svart and I rode him a little bit yesterday evening, it felt good. And in terms of the leaderboard, I mean, how, is it easier chasing, do you think, at this uh, stage of the season? Is it nicer to be in a position like you are than perhaps what Edwina's right up there waiting to be caught? <laughs> yeah, uh, I, have, I have seven results in the, in the moment, so I've still won if I can get one, full result to count and that's my advantage in this position <coughs> uh, to be first or to be the second. You always try to do your best and uh, you need to do good otherwise the rest of your colleagues here, they walk away in front of you, so you have to be on yourself. You guys have obviously been competing against each other for a, a number of years, both on this on this tour and elsewhere. Um, what do you think each other's strengths are? No, I was <coughs> had a fantastic uh, record, uh, very consistent. Uh, have a couple of, of good horses to, to choose. Um, she can follow all the shows, that's also advantage of it. Uh, but to just stay focused and do, do very good results in the main class, that's uh, her strength, I think. And what about uh, Rolf here, Edwina? Why do you think he's year after year always mm -hmm. so high in the, the LGCT rankings? Yeah, I think it's something that you, you have to decide if you focus on. And, um, you know, I think it's a, a great format um, for, for a lot of people's horses. And obviously it's, it's been fantastic for Casal and Rolf. And he's a very experienced rider. He was also with Jan for many years, a long time ago. And, um, and you know, he's not only got results here, but in, you know, a lot of other major events and, and championships, etc. So, um, you know, he has a lot of experience and he has uh, an incredible horse that's a perfect match and, and, and um, he's proven year after year, which is, is, is actually very unique in our sport to have, um, you know, what the results he's achieved so long on, on a horse like that. And, um, and, and it's really a pleasure to watch and, and it's exciting. And, and, you know, his horse is, is getting better as he gets older. Ito was a little bit the same. So, you know, it's, it's nice to see that, you know, and that's all about management at the same time. Is he getting better as he gets older? I think as of the last few years, <coughs> he has been even better than he was when he was a bit younger. He's very consistent. consistent. He likes, he likes to be and he on likes, the show. He likes it here as well, which is, is important. Three events and 25 points. Is it enough, Edwina? <laughs> no, it's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't say a lot. I mean, it's, it's great to be leading now, but, you know, I mean, I have to just focus and try to get some podium finishes and, and that's, you know, that's what we all want and, and that's what sport is and you try to do your best, like Rolf said, and, and uh, it's like, you know, it's good to be leading but it doesn't say a lot and, and, and I think Rolf's in a great position because he's still got one more, um, you know, points to count, um, so whatever I get is going to be a drop-off score, so, so that's why I have to be, I have to be doing, you know, very well to get a, 
you know, more points. <laughs> but it's exciting and it's good to be in this position. You've won the tour twice in the past, so to get another victory, I mean, that would be it would be history, but it would it would be special with it. Yeah, for sure. You know, absolutely. It's, it's been a big year and, and lots of shows and with the Olympics and you know, lots of things to focus on and, and lots of things happening in our sport with the league and everything. So, so yeah, it would be great. And Rolf, come on, you really want to win the tour. It's been you have been so close so many years, haven't you? I, I have been, yeah. Twice on the same point, but missing out of having less wins. Um, he deserves it, sure. <laughs> yeah, we all deserve so. a shot at it. <laughs> that, would, that would be nice, but to end up once again on the podium there in the final, in the end, that would also be. Uh, as well. It's good. It's very good to be there so many times in on it. But of course, to finish, to finish it off with one time a win, that would be the really the best. It certainly would be. Look, all the best to both of you. Lots to look forward to. It is our 13th event then on the 2016 calendar of the Longines Global Champions Tour. We're looking forward to these guys going battling it out for the rest of the season.